Hello everyone, welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. The last random run was a keeper run, so game, I'm watching you. Thank you. Maybe, <clears throat> maybe if I keep talking, my voice will actually be capable of doing so. Take the pill, it's infested. We are Lazarus. What do we do here? Well, we don't walk into wrath as soon as we fucking start, that's for sure. I've forgotten how to not be able to fly, because I've just been doing that keeper run, which was great fun. If Can you please do a bomb so that we have some room here? You fucking dick, I hate you. I'm stuck. There we go. That's right, there we go. Sorted, now we do it. Woohoo! Um, I, I, it, it was great fun, uh, having a chaos, guppy... You know, Curse of the Blind Brimstone on the hush fight, what happened? Soy milk. Oh. So having a normal rate of fire, normal HP, as in red HP, normal tactics. Now, the th uh, I don't know what, because what are these noises I'm making? The thing about a Lazarus run is that normally you try to kill yourself at the earliest available opportunity. Opportunity, I thought I was going through the door, so I didn't really pay attention to the bomb. Um, Earliest available opportunity so that you can... I, and usually you do that on the deal with the devil. You take the deal with the devil, kill yourself with it, or, you know, as a result of it, or something, uh, and come back as resurrected Lazarus to whatever benefit that may or may not be, which I still don't actually know, because obviously having played this game for 500 or so hours now, actually, I knowing that it... See, I can uh, execute dodges like that, but I still don't know what resurrected Lazarus' stats are. Uh, I believe it's a damage upgrade. It also obviously gives you the uh, anemic effect. When you get hit, you do creep. Try not to die against this champion version of the Widow. This is going to produce these extremely annoying spiders, but as one of Jeff taught me several years ago now, shit the bed. First of all, don't do what I just did. Secondly, you can get the Widow to jump on the Widow's minions. Just like that. Uh, and basically, it's crowd control for you. So how do you not get trapped in the corner when you're fighting the Widow? 101 with Altrius, that's me. Uh, step one, don't get caught in the corner by the Widow. Uh, step two, kind of doesn't really follow on from step one, but um, don't be in the corner when fighting the Widow. Spider Bite uh, is a decent item. I am a fan of Spider Bite, having a slowing effect every so often. It certainly helps. Um, it's not quite as good as something like Iron Bar or uh, even Mon's Contact because they still keep moving, which I dislike. Thank you for this protection. Um, but, you know, it, it also slows their bullets down as well, so... It's... I, I... I completely misread that situation, I don't know why. Um, slows down their bullets. It's, it's just a nice item. It doesn't really make us supremely strong. We'll think about this. Don't mean to do that. Might as well have the rest then. There you go. What have you got for me? You dick. Um, I don't even care to blow him up because... I want the bomb. We might need it to access a tinted drop or a key or something like that. I hate this room. This room can go fudge itself. Or just put this bomb here like this. Deal with the room. Uh, and basically solve a, a great problem that I, I had. Which would have remained a problem had I used the bomb to get rid of the judgement. Which would have been short sighted because we don't need a better deal with the devil chance. And we don't even want to deal with the devil in the first place. And as I was saying, what do you do on a Lazarus run? when you're not going to take a deal with the devil, which is why I left that HP behind, because, oh shit, I'm not quite sure whether I want it. I think I do. Uh, I think I do, because I'm not going to spend any HP on this run at all. To my knowledge. Unless we pick up something like Abaddon without paying for it. Stop jumping onto rocks and then no clipping through it, you fucking cheat-ass lamer. Um, so I think we take the HP. We haven't even found the item room yet. This is just spare HP. Just knocking around. I've taken some very silly damage on this floor already, but I am still in a bit of a wind down from, from that previous run where we had basically everything going for us. What does this do when it dies? Nothing. Okay, good. 
Uh, Sue. Oh, this is very dangerous, but here we are. We can now explode our secret rooms. This tinted rock. Basically going to look everywhere for the secret room now. Kind of expected it to be there. This No, well, the secret room I expected to be here, mind you. Question marks. Question. What we know about. We know there is one, but I'm never going to remember which colour it is, so... Bear with, I suppose. Okay, it's a 2x6 secret room. That will be why I didn't expect it to be here. Thought I found the super secret room. Felt pretty good about myself. Was not the case. If it can't... Provided that I can be trusted, which is rare is a run winner in and of itself because not only does it uh, give you the huge damage ability and obviously the splash damage too. Where are you? Coward! Oh, I thought it was a digger, but it is not. Uh, it also gives you the ability to basically access anything that is otherwise gated by bombs. So it is an extremely valuable situation to be in. You can pick up anything that is hidden behind a bridgeable gap. Uh, you can get all of your speed is good. Oh, I hate you! Because of course we are not taking these, but this is an excellent. Uh, this balls of steel is great. Bad trip is the opposite, so we got one spirit heart out of this place. That's fine. That was a guppy item, by the way, and uh, due to shadow. So I think basically the idea is that since we're going for angel rooms. We just stack up as much HP as we possibly can and don't worry about resurrecting ourselves as Lazarus. As resurrected Lazarus because, of course, we have Ipecac now. So any damage bonus that that would give us is essentially irrelevant. That's a nice amount of money. That could make the shop worth going to. We have got the Sun card. Um, I don't really think it needs using this early. Very good. Um... I think we save it for a floor that we'd like to, you know, rip through a little bit quicker. Ooh. Fate. Very nice. Bit of a risk, because of course it was our only key, but very glad I took it. Now we can fly, so we're even less gated as to what items we can have. This is fine. Um, and of course we're going to get the extra HP at the start of the next floor. We'll find another Eternal Heart. So... I think stacking up HP is probably a good idea for the simple reason that it means that we can get good value out of something like a Blood Bank or a Demon Beggar, which I, I mean, obviously I didn't know we were going to get Fate, so if I'd known, we probably would have checked that we weren't going to get a Blood Bank or a Demon Beggar before we picked it up, um, but you know, Curse of Blind does what it does. We are basically sorted, I think. Not a lot I can do Lemon party. to make this better or worse. Uh, all I can do is fuck it up royally. <laughs> it's quite like that's Relax. It. I think we know enough hills. This way. Good job. Uh, that mm, might be able to remember which one is the actual question marks. Very good. I managed to not get hit on a little girdy fight, which is... Don't really want any of these. We'll open the chest. The chest gives us pills. I don't care. Item room, please. Ah, it's a bit of a shame that we got that um, devil room just now. Makes me a bit sad. Because we're trying so hard to get angel rooms, right? We haven't taken a deal with the devil and we haven't been hit. We earned a devil room that we didn't necessarily deserve because we only had a 25% chance. Oh, hello. 25% uh, chance of actually finding it in the first place. Um, ah, and it was not the angel room that we needed. Which one is this? I think that's the one that gives you a chance to get a... <laughs> they land on the spikes. Sure. Bit shit. Um. Hmm. Later. I think they can drop angel room items. So if we stack up HP like I intend to, spend it. Maybe we can find a perks pill as well. That'd be really good. Spend it on this. Uh, on a later floor. Maybe we can get one of the items we're looking for from 
from the spend oh ouch spending HP on it in a non-deal with the devil sort of way, so that's good. Man, this thing turned into two things. It makes me upset. Get out of here. We could of course just skip any room we don't like. By exploding the door. We have got a Bacano room which we'll use. Let's go. I mean boss rush is on. Probably fairly obviously because we're going so fast because we have explosions that come out of our face. So boss rush is definitely a thing. Whether we want to do it or not, kinda of remains to be seen. It can be pretty dangerous to do boss rush with Ipecac because Ipecac is in and of itself dangerous. And boss rush may not be worth it. We basically have to see if it's worth it, whether it's worth it. So just keep going. Nice, now we can have a look in this double key room. That is not an exploded chest, so you don't need to explode it. There we go. It is located by a key that we don't need to worry about because we're amazing in the fight. It's probably question marks. No, it's 40 iron. Okay. Wouldn't mind a spacebar item. Uh, something I am aware that we're missing. That's interesting. That goes against my plans. I'm not going to take it. Um, Guppy Ipecac is okay. We can already fly. I took terrible damage just now, so just um, look away, as she said. Please hit the baby. Good. Nothing there. Um, we can already fly, which is one of the main benefits of Guppy. Our flies themselves would do a considerable amount of damage, considerable amount of damage, because we have epic attack and any damage that that we get. Between now and the hypothetical guppy transformation, there are five guppy items, so we don't have to use that one. But I'm still going to hold on to this uh, this idea that we can use our HP to maybe get something decent. Please. From the angel room. Bad trip is not what I want. There is full health in future. So that would help for an angel room. So this is why I want to stack up red HP. So you can get something like a bad trip pill, which will become a full health pill when your red HP becomes none. Or, or one, I think. Which will allow us to. Please hit these fucking things. It's more. So we can play the self-sacrifice room until we run out of red HP, use our bad trip pill, and then continue to play it. Get ourselves a better angel. Well, get ourselves an angel. Then some angel items. Sounds like a good idea. I think we have to play more than one uh, angel room. Uh, self-sacrifice room to get actual items out of it. I think we have to already have beaten the angels. And then we beat them again. I don't remember. Because if you're not careful, you end up in the dark room. Have we found the item room? We have not. We'll beat the boss first. That seems fair. Goody, you ain't got nothing. Occasional poison from Ipecac also helps. Occasional poison from Ipecac also helps. Might get rid of this colorblind thing. The uh, extra large shadows are actually slightly more annoying than anything else. The only thing it really has helped with is yeah, what is? Is the uh, red chests? No, red poops. I mean, it used to help with the black hearts, but then it wasn't ready for the golden hearts, so... Every single direction we have been, but for the one that contains our item room, you'd be dead. Hooray! Money. Tea money. So nice not being the keeper. Cool. I like purity. It currently is increasing our damage, I think. Not something I necessarily need, but that's okay. The weird transitions will remain weird. Uh, let's go. Doing good on time. Slightly slower than we were yesterday, which is interesting because we're a lot more stronger than we were yesterday. Um, but I guess I'm being more careful. Or maybe I'm just bad with Ipecac. Ipecac is one of those ones where you can see why you benefit from rate of fire as much as um, from damage, because if you miss with an Ipecac shot, it's ages before you get another chance. Yes, this is what I want.
I'm trying to get two of these. It takes all my concentration. We can actually use bad trip to play as Joker even more. Pay out, yeah, good. What is this gonna give us? Spun. Okay. And another relax pill. It did not give us any more HP. It's increased our rate of fire quite a lot. Which is actually quite nice. And I don't think any damage downgrade that it may have given us um, is particularly important. Due to the fact that we have Ipecac and it's already extremely strong. I still feel like actually we got a damage upgrade from it. Or our damage has remained static. But I haven't sort of recalibrated since we picked up the damage upgrade before. And of course we did get spun out of it. So any... Damage downgrade that uh, experimental treatment gave us was basically completely eradicated by uh, Spun. Which is either plus two or double damage, I forget. But it's excellent. Ah, oh, you got me. Because you made your spiders, which are controlling all the space. Like a boss. Well, you're the boss. The spiders are not the bosses. Though. The, I think they're called the ads. Or the minion. More deals with the devil. Because, I mean, I could have just taken it by now. Hey, pro tip. Learn this. Uh, don't take more of the void when you have Ipecac. Because there is no way on God's green earth that you will be persuaded to charge up your shot when you have more of the void. Uh, when you have Ipecac. Which is the only way you get more of the void. To so unless you are going to get something stupendous out of it, like a uh, Ludovico technique or something like that, which overrides the scary nature of... Ipecac. Yeah, you don't want to have something that benefits from a charge shot. When you have a shot that will explode in your face, you know, instead of charging. Bomb. Fine. Looking for the item room, and we found a shop. It had greed. Gives us... I mean, there's a chance that the next shop has ultra greed, super greed. Not ultra greed. That would be scary. Um, but we still look for it anyway. I hope that we get something decent out of it. No secret room? Pretty hard to tell because I can't shoot straight, but that's okay. Item room. I believe it is known as a treasure room. Money equals power. We have already got 50 monies. Now we've got 55. That's another two damage, I think, already. Very nice. Don't need to be in this floor anymore. It could be a self-sacrifice room, but I think I'm going to save that until maybe the womb. I don't want to try and get to boss rush and then leave it. The, the self-sacrifice room doesn't suffer from the fact that you take double damage. Okay, interesting. On the next couple of floors, because it's always one heart of damage when you step on those spikes. So, wait until later is not as bad as it could be. I'll, I'll have this. I prefer it to the one we had. Because the one we had didn't seem to matter because we weren't using bombs. We didn't have a different pack. Syrup, isn't it? You have to make sure we don't shoot too aggressively or rashly because it will be right next to us and it will hurt. Good. Ooh, interesting. I'll open this. Maybe it has a guppy item. It will still not make me feel bad about. I don't need that. Um, not taking guppies. Guppies nine lives because guppies body. <laughs> guppies everything. Uh, because, quite frankly, I much prefer having this HP. Although, not knowing how much HP I have means that self-sacrifice room, self room is completely off the table uh, on this floor. Which makes me wonder if it's probably going to give you the same curse when I do actually want it. Let's see if we get magic mess up. Sweet. Is this question mark? No, it's bad trip. We've already got one of those. Infested. Infested. That's pretty fine. Pretty fine is good. Pretty fine. We now have two things protected because I don't care for Liberty Cap so much. Balls of Steel helps. Balls of Steel. I'm pretty sure we already uh, we have plenty of room for Balls of Steel. There. there was nothing in here. We'll keep that trip. We'll move on to this room, which has no combat. Very well. Still no space bar item. Can't have a note. Got a light on my phone. It's flashing at me saying you have a message. What? That didn't do a. Didn't kill it. I'm like, I'm, I'm misreading this message. But at the same time, that would be rude. 
Uh, would you like reading your phone at the dinner table? Have you heard of this um, phone roulette right here at the dinner table? Where you put your phone down in the middle of the table. When you go out for a meal with multiple people. Uh, and everyone does it. Or, you know, it's null and void. Unless you have, like, a um, a literal reason why it's terrible for you to not have your phone, like you're on call for, like, you're a doctor or something. And you absolutely must um, answer the phone when required. Then you put your phone in the middle. And the first person to check their phone pays the bill. <laughs> I'll find the item room before we go to mom. Because I think mom will die quickly. Could be anywhere, man. Probably not over. Oh, it could be over here. Excuse me? <laughs> yeah, bomb's perfect. Could be over here. It is over here. Wow, okay. Genuinely nearly didn't go to this room thinking that it didn't have a you know, an extra bit off it. it did. Yeah. First person. Ooh, that's way better. Not that we have an orbital. <laughs> But we could. I and mean, that's what counts. It's all in the potentials. Nothing. I'm outraged, mate. Um, Yeah, I think it's a pretty good idea. You know, if you want to encourage this course or that course, you know, whichever course you prefer, just tell people. You know, I think this is the better course. We should have it. Um... Then, you make everyone get rid of their stupid phones that everyone is cross with you for using. I will take my trip and leave. Uh, and put them in the middle, and then if you want to check your phone, you can pay for everybody's meal. And if you don't want to pay for everybody's meal, then you can leave your phone where it is and fucking talk to your mates. Now, there's a, lot to, ooh, there's, a there's a lot to be said for the idea that you know, it's not necessarily that big a deal if you're using your phone in a real-life social situation. Most people use their phones for, you know, remaining connected anyway. We didn't get a deal with the devil or anything, which is a bit of a bugger. Do I want any of these? I think I might want to take Super Bandage, but do I want to fight for it? That's the question. I wish I knew what my HP was. I'm going to say no because I'm boring. I think Boss Rush really needs uh, a big, strong, crazy item that you know really helps to make um, something to make it worth actually fighting Boss Rush for. If we had a way out of that, I would definitely have taken a Super Bandage and given myself even more HP for the uh, aforementioned you know evil taking over the world type plans. So Unicorn Stump. What this does is it gives you invincibility, but you can't do anything. But it's every room. So what you need is a way of dealing damage that doesn't require your tier. It's usually called an orbital. Or something similar. I don't think there's anything other than an orbital that fulfills that criterion. But okay. Um, you need a, an orbital, basically. Or several. To do damage. Relax. Ah. Uh, Quare upon. What the heck? Did you actually just die from the poison from Ipecac? That's amazing. Um, whereupon, you run around a room like, uh, well, slightly doolally unicorn, walking into things, and be killing them. Get out. Seth. Two of clubs. Two I'll just use it. Clubs. That's 24 clubs for. 24 clubs for beating uh, beating Pride there. Not that I need them, so it doesn't matter if we min-max that to any extent. Just take some damage there. I don't, don't really uh, feel too proud about that. But at the same time, you know, we learn from our mistakes, or not, as the case may be. You're me playing Isaac. Are we done, no? Oh, there you are. I can we got here the Kano. Use. Open. We've got here the tower. Do not use. Under any circumstances. We've got here. Hagalaz. Don't really care for it. I don't want to come back in there to get a bad trip. Uh, again, can't help but notice I still have Curse of the Unknown. 
which was the thing that I said I was worried about having if we found a self-sacrifice room down here. And I'm basically still holding out for, uh, for the unicorn stump here to actually have any effect for us. The reason I'm not using it is we can't do anything whilst we're using it. So, of course, actually pressing the spacebar at this point will just cause us to flash rainbow colours for a while. <laughs> and basically waste time. So, I'm going to not do that. This would be a good room to have the Hagalaz room for. Good news. Hagalaz room. No. Not with, not with Epic Hagalaz. Oh, no, not with Epic Hagalaz. Bad. bad. Oh. Of course, a uh, unicorn stump there could give us at least... You can do poison damage to it whilst it's invisible. Very nice. Uh, it could get us out of a bind if we find ourselves in a situation with a capital S. We could just hit the spacebar, try and get some invincibility temporarily. I'm trying to do damage when it goes past using my uh, fly here, but... Skull Lace is such bullshit, and I'll tell you why. Because it's, it's a random chance that it will actually pop up in a way that it is vulnerable. Like, technically it's vulnerable at that point, but you really got to time it right. Especially with Ipecac. So it's only because Ipecac does uh, poison damage that we've done anything to it at all, really. That's a good shot. Again, I don't need this shit from you, game. Oh! Didn't pick the thing up. That's okay. Should have, basically, from here. Pretty close to full. It could make a difference. I strongly suspect it will not. I'm more interested in the, uh, yeah, the, the tears of room. Yeah, sure. Open. Fine. <laughs> so that thing will continue to close as long as it pays out with something. And then you can open it again with another key. Hey, this fucking boss. You really have to keep track of it. So when there's two of them, of course, it's pretty bullshit. We're not doing as much damage as you might think, based on how long it took us to, you know, kill a uh, polycephalus just now. That's probably our actual question marks. It's not. So I thought we already had explosive barrier. It may have been in the previous episode. I will accept this. Could you please give me a fucking deal with the devil, uh, angel? There you go. Balls of steel. So. Pretty I mean, we're going to get out of here with, <laughs> as if we hadn't taken that. We're keeping Bad Trip so that we can play a self-sacrifice room if we so find one. If we so find one. Probably not an appropriate grammatical place to interject the word so. Because, let me explain. In that situation, the word so means in a, a manner that has been demonstrated. Right? So, not, not then. Um, it would mean... I, I was talking about uh, a situation, or uh, I was being adjective -y or adverby. Great. I mean, we've got Swarm Protector, which is great. I do like it. Careful there. But it is not what I'm looking for. I mean, we, we probably should have kept the Joker card, but I'm holding out for this bad trip play. This is a very dangerous room to be in. I couldn't really figure out a way out of it without hitting myself somehow. This is what happened, so. Yeah, the use of the word so usually means I've been talking about something, which is a adverby sort of situation. Uh, and I would then refer back to the adverbs that I was using, the, the the picture that I was painting. I would refer back to it with the word so in order that you, you would understand that the thing I'm now talking about it's done in the manner of the thing. I was then talking. Capiche? Let's kill uh, Mom's heart with Kale. Spoon. Yeah, good. So it doesn't make sense to use the word so in the situation I did. Which I have now forgotten. Because I spent so long talking about it. I can't remember what it actually was. I have been so confused. This means I have been confused in this manner. Let's do this. We're not going to Hush. Uh, I'm a little bit bitter about Hush right now. Don't know what I'm expecting from this Joker here, but we should save at least a few keys for the... Sure. <laughs> that almost literally never happened. 
that it pays out. I mean, this is something I actually like, like the paperclip. Um, which, now I think about it, may not be that useful because we still have plenty of keys left. So I guess we don't actually need them. If I just stop taking damage from my own Ipecac shots, that would be swell. Takes a little bit of concentration to get that right. Uh, I used the Joker card correctly, but more by luck than judgment. I'm actually going to take this. I prefer the uh, luck upgrade because it could actually give us those extra keys that we may need in the first place. Let's see if we can find a self-sacrifice room before we go to the cathedral, which may also have a self-sacrifice room, but, you know, I want to get these items. So we're going to take every opportunity we can to give ourselves uh, a better chance at finding said items. Phone, stop blinking at me. I know what's going on. Could use a strength card on the self-sacrifice room, but I'd rather use a bad trip pill. Because the strength card is one extra HP, and the bad trip pill is as many as we have extra HP. No super sacrifice room. That's okay. That's okay. I will tell you that's okay, and you will believe me. No secret room. Don't care. Cathedral woods. I would like a self-sacrifice room now. I mean, it... We could play it until we end up in, sh in, in Dark Room, to be That doesn't really bother me. I'm not sold on the chest. I'm not even sold on winning, right? Uh, I'm mostly here just to get these items and go home. No, my dinner's on. My wife's waiting. I uh, don't really want... Don't really want to hang around any longer than is necessary. Wow. We are not doing the damage we should be. I mean, our rate of fire is great. Which means that I can basically shoot when I wish to. So with Ipecac, of course, it kind of follows the standard... You have shitty uh, rate of fire thing. Luck. Yoink. Whereby you fire when you choose to, rather than just holding down the button. Um, but that's true irrespective of how fast you can actually fire. Because uh, having a stream of bombs, you know, careening out of your face is often considered bad form. Somehow, you died before you hit me. I choose to believe it is because I'm awesome and deserve it. This is not worth doing. It should be fairly easy to get through, so I think we're okay. Does this do damage? Yes. So we will use it as an orbital, because I said we need an orbital. We can now use Unicorn Ball. Dump. Only once, every so often. Well, there's some money. Do you want our money? Yes, because we have money equals power. We have 99 cents, though. So even if money equals power, 99 cents, Ipecac. I mean, I can't complain about the damage. I guess the main reason I feel like we're not doing as much damage is that, uh, as we could be, is that doing more. Um, I feel like an Ipecac shot should take off like half of Monstro's health, not uh, not an eighth. I don't really care about cracked dice. Um, which, if you're wondering, he rolls stuff if you get hit. I think it's basically d20 if you get hit. Possibly d6 as well? Seriously. The, uh, the extra poison is actually knocking off a little bit of extra health every so often is turning out to be really useful. So we will explore this floor fully in case we do get a self-sacrifice room. And it feels strange to be uh, ooh, that was close. using daily tactics on a non-daily, but we are almost basically trying to get more points. But in fact, we're trying to get more things, which is kind of similar. That's a bad uh, piece of damage just now. Should have known that. Th Why am I going that way? Should have known that thing would turn around and uh, attack me, but I consider it. Oh, I'll come back. I'm sad now. You ruined my. Uh, you ruined my unicorn horn. Stump. Oh, good. You're on the ground. Probably shouldn't use it now. Eleven then. It's funny. It's it's a testament to the staying power of Isaac that even after all these hours that I actually literally have in the game. I'm still learning things that I should be doing. Like, 
waiting until war is on the ground before using an orbital to beat it, for example. Ah! Fuck. <laughs> we should have been using the unicorn horn there as well. Stump! Get rid of these explodey things. Please! Seems to be incapable of controlling this uh, orbital right now. We do have an orbital, but of course we have to take damage to make it work, which is super annoying. I think we do play this guy. We still have bad trip. If he gives us uh, HP, that's basically the the idea. Um, we have that much more staying power on self-sacrifice room. The bad trip pill is more valuable. We just need to find that room. It just needs to exist. Two Hermit cards. Well, I'm glad I'm giving you all this damage. I'm basically assuming that we're going to uh, get a, Two of you know, uh, a bunch of money back somehow. Probably shouldn't have picked all the money I got up when I got hit. So that's okay. Give me something, though. Yeah, good. Right, so now we'll find a self-sacrifice room, which may or may not... Okay, good. So now we do this. Yay, money! You can also pick up the HP that is on the ground. Of which there is little, but some... Ooh! No! Fuck! <laughs> he said, dramatically. It was slightly more melodramatic than it necessarily needed to be. Um, in case you're wondering. There's a troll bomb behind the angel statue, so the angel statue was activated. Keep his two. Don't need that. That's fine. We'll go and get this. That trip is currently not full health. That's okay. We found the self sacrifice room, which I didn't really expect. I was. It was um, a long shot, I think you would call it. But. No, thank you. I could re roll stuff every time we take damage on the self sacrifice room, which is quite interesting, but there's nothing on the self sacrifice room, so it's not that interesting. Maybe it's interesting, but I think I could spend longer trying to figure out a cute play that I could do there than I would than is worth the potential benefit from it. So there's an item. There's no. Okay, good. Another angel. We could fight Mega Stan if you want to. Um, I'm not sure how much I feel that that's a good idea. This angel will not get close enough to me to let me. Uh, <laughs> that sounds like the Japanese version. Um, Korean. Oh, there's my money back, so that's nice. Doo -doo -doo. What was I saying? Basically, I'm saying I don't know if I want to fight Mega Stan. Die. Full health. Do not like this. Particular angel has more HP and shoots funny. I wonder if we. I don't want to accidentally teleport, but I wanted more items, so I guess we're doing the dark room. Guppy? <laughs> Here's a guppy item. One more. Now, if we had taken nine lives, we would be guppy now. We would not be here. We can still die and come back as Lazarus. In this room. If we need to, which we don't, because that sounds like a terrible idea. So here's our uh, rate of fire coming through. In an interesting fashion. And the soul, actually right now, is extremely valuable. Because it means we don't have to pay quite so much attention to... Uh, is this safe? I think so. Um... The way those shots scatter, because you can just ignore them. It's very helpful. Oh, don't get close. That was too close. I'm learning. Just use orbitals. I haven't done a room since I used my thingy. So we can't actually use unicorn stump to do any damage there, which is a shame. And we don't have um, bad trip anymore, so we can't get. Uh, we can't get full health. So we have to rely on the kindness of strangers. And on the fact that that appears to be a champion version of Fate. 
Didn't drop a fucking... Okay. Didn't drop a spirit heart. Can't hit it. I don't want to get too close. Shit. Ooh, we're okay. So Ipecac sort of seems to have a little bit of a downside, I might say. Don't want to be too rude to it. It's a pretty good item, but... It's a pretty good item, eh? But, um, I seem to go Canadian whenever I use it. Which is not a very good Canadian accent, but it seems to be the Canadian equivalent of an English accent, which I don't know what it is. Um... It explodes. Near me. And that makes me sad. So just, uh, just stay away from this particular bouquet de syrup. Is it safe? No. Where the fuck do we stand? Help. Literally, I was assuming that the uh, corners there would be safe. The corners there were not safe. Keep exploding it. Oh, this is going to be bad. I've also then just learned that the corners are not safe when Mega Stan does the punch in the ground attack. Oh, Jesus. Just don't get hit anymore. It's simple as that. Fully prepared to die here. Um, do you ever feel like you could practice more at a game, even though you played so much that if you're never going to be good at it, I mean, if you're ever going to be good at it, you should be really good at it by now. Yeah, me too. So here's where we just get rid of either of them and hope the other one doesn't attack us. And in the next wave, we be over here because it's scary. Please. God. Dead. Not dead. That was a very lucky dodge, considering I didn't even expect it. I wasn't dodging it. I was just moving. Good. That one's killed that one. This one kills this one. I kill that one. We all have dinner. Polly put the kettle on. Polly kept the morals up. No, oh, I did that one. Oh, Lazarus. Right, don't get hit again. The fact that we are not killing them with one shot is outrageous, frankly. Fudge. Well, <laughs> do you want to do the rest of it? Oh, here we go. Our damage with there was... Oh, fuck. Not what I wanted it to be. I can't be trusted with Ipecac, which is what I said when I picked up Ipecac, but I thought that would have been a one run apart from what we did, which was to use all of our HP and all of our things. I'm just going to go to sleep now. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.